this Easter is. And doggone it, I need those eggs. People are going to show up Here anytime I now. Am. Oh, Miss Easter. I got this. I've got everything out except for the eggs. Don't you have any more eggs than that? I just don't know how to make them chickens lay any faster. Well, maybe you need to get some more chickens. I'm I telling reckon. you, we can make a lot of money on those eggs. I reckon I'll have to get some more chickens. Goodness, those are the finest eggs okay. I've seen. You have the best eggs, Miss Easter. Thank you. Hang on just a second and I'll give you your money. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure yeah, doing this. Okay, good. Thank you. Good. Hi. Hey, would you buy some of these fine yummy apples? Well, they look nice, but I mean, if you looky here, I've got all the apples I need. Please. Well, no, I just don't need any apples. Do you have anything else to sell? Well, <coughs> I do have this I made with the apron. Oh. Well, isn't that pretty? Yes, I know. Oh, I like those colors. Yes. That's really nice. I got it for so. Yeah. No. Yeah, I could buy that here. Let me that down and put Thank here. you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Listen, um, let me see how that sells. I might take an order for three or four more of those. Okay. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Better oh. hide that quick before we get in trouble. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, you do. Good, good morning, uh, uh, you don't look like you're from Guyandot. Where are you from? No, ma'am. Me and the boys came up from Cerrito. Well, you can just go back down there. Oh, Miss Easter, you're going to get me in trouble. Oh, okay. Go on out of here. Go on out of here. Well, I didn't know we had uh, Yankees around here. I better be leaving soon. Okay. Fine apples. Yes, they are. Well, you won't miss one. Hey, hey, those are five cents. <gasps> Marshall, Marshall, where's some Marshall when you need him? Good grief. Just walk right off, right in front of me with an apple. Morning, Miss Kathy. How are you this morning? Well, I've been better, Mr. Mayor. This well, what, Yankee, what, what, what's wrong? This Yankee soldier came, saw, sauntered right up here in front of me and Stole one of my apples. Are, right you, are my you sure face. about that? I mean, I know those Yankees are scallywags and everything, but they've been behaving pretty good recently. Well, this one was from Cerrito, and I'm telling you, he stole an apple. Have you had your eyeglasses checked recently? I don't need my eyeglasses checked. I wipe them off all the time. I could see him stealing, and I could hear him say I wouldn't miss it. Well, I don't know about that. They've been behaving pretty good. Well, I, those are five cents a piece, Mr. Mayor, and I need my apples. Tell you. <gasps> Tarnation, what was that? <sighs> Goodness gracious. What is this world coming to? Oh, Miss Kathy! What happened? Oh, Miss Lisa! Help. Help. I need help. What's wrong? What's wrong going down? I've been invited to a big party tomorrow, Saturday night. Oh, well, how lovely. Problem is, my party dress is too short. Oh, well, we can't have that. Good grief. Well, what can I do? Do you have any material that would match that no. purple? No, I don't have anything that'll match that. I don't even have any white fabric. Good grief. Have you seen, have you been to Miss Gwen? She can do anything with fabric. And she has lots. Just there. She wasn't home. Oh, no. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I don't have anything that'll match, and I don't have time to sew with this shop. I tell you what, if I see Miss Gwen, I'll, she's usually in here once a day. If I see her, I'll tell her you're looking for her, okay? Okay, thank you. Well, you're welcome. Goodness gracious. One disaster after another around this place. Goodness, let's see. Good morning. Well, good morning, Mrs. Hatfield. How are you today? I'm wonderful. How, how about you? Oh, well, I'm doing pretty good. I mean, it's been an active morning already. 
You know a Yankee soldier came through here and stole an apple, pretty as you please. I'm telling you, and I'm trying to get all my prices written down and what sales I make. Are these your prices? Well, yes, they certainly are. Oh my goodness. Well, I tell you what, with the war and everything, I have to raise my prices. I have to make a profit. And, and my suppliers raise their prices. I gotta raise my prices. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> well, I still have to eat. Well, I know you do. Um, let's see, Miss Jean, let me, let me put your basket over here. You tell me what you'd like. Um, what do you need? Mm, uh, I'd like three eggs. Okay, hang on just a second. Let's see. <laughs> you want brown eggs or white eggs? I like brown eggs. All right, let me get you some brown eggs. Miss Easter has the best eggs, doesn't she? She does. She does. I just can't get enough of them. I know. And I need sugar. Let me see. Whoops. There goes my things. Green eggs. Okay. Is that about that enough? That will be nice. Well, I a lot of sugar for one for little old lady. <laughs> I need it for my tea. Oh, well, and, sure. And, and a, a bag of flour. All right. Let's see. A bag of flour. Do you deliver? Okay. Um, no, Miss Miss Hatfield, I don't deliver. I gotta stay here with the shop and you know, my men folk are off to war. I, I I can't deliver. I don't know how we're gonna get your stuff home. What will we do? I don't know. Goodness. Well, I, I just can't leave the shop, I'm telling you. I just can't tote that by myself. I know, it's too heavy for you. I can help you, ma'am. That would be wonderful. Thank you, sir. You're more than welcome. Well, that's a fine looking uniform, isn't it? It is. Very nice. Thank you. Right. Well, you don't have any colors on your uniform. I'm supposed to have blue when somebody took them off the other day. And oh, my goodness. Blue's for infantry, so. Oh, so you're a marcher, huh? I'm a marcher. Okay. I carry the guns. Well, uh, my son has um, yellow on his uniform. Well, that's for cavalry. The cavalry will wear the yellow. Oh, well, that makes sense. He loves mm -hmm. his horses. That's a good place to put him. He does. He does. Uh, my <coughs> nephew has red. Oh, he's feet. in the artillery. They, oh, make the, yes. they make the big noise. That yes, they do. do. That'd be the cannons, wouldn't that it? That's so important. Well, um, Miss Jean, Jean, let me pay you. All righty. Let's see. I think that was $3.10. Okay, there you okay. are. All righty, pleasure doing business with you. Well, I appreciate it very much. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. You too. You Ooh, too. What? You look so handsome in your uniform. Well, thank you, ma'am. Well, that's what I like paying customers. <laughs> Tell you. Uh oh. There you go. Let's see. I can take that off of there. And that on. What in the world? Dr. Alexander's world? Oh my goodness. You can't set that up here. This is my shop. No, I thought this is a free street. No, it's not. This is my shop. Worm oil. Marshall! Come on, Where come on, folks. Work? Come get Dr. Alexander's warm oil elixir. Cures all the ends all from head to toe, A to Z. From head to toe, cures dysentery, botulism, headaches, coughing and sneezing, and general laziness. For all the price of one thin dime. You know, you're always telling, writing me, telling me about the men in Chapmansville, about their coughing and their sneezing and their general laziness. And you know you can never find a doctor in Logan County. Well, they ran off with the Logan Wildcats, but they are serving our glorious fighting boys. I think you can make a profit on this. I'm going to go talk to him. Are you Dr. Alexander? Yes, I am, madam. What is this cure? This cure is botulism, dysentery, and general laziness, madam, and coughing and sneezing. How much is it? One thin dime, madam, to cure all that is, all that need, you need to add. 
What ails you? And does it come in a case? Yes, it does. Can you deliver? Yes, I can, madam. I'm staying with my mother at 405 Main Street. We have a party to go to at 6. Can you be there at 4 o'clock? Why, certainly, madam. Mother, I'm going into the general store. I'm going to procure some supplies and look for at fabric for the ladies in Chapmanville. Yes, dear. <laughs> You're a real doctor. That's what they call me, madam. Well, <laughs> I've had this cough. <coughs> And I think I caught the rheumatism in my arm. And I got this misery in my back. You think it's a hit me? Yes, it will, madam. 90 proof? Mother! I'll take three. Come on, mother. Mother! Four o'clock, 405 Main Street. Yes, madam. Be prompt. Yes, madam. Mother! I can't take you anywhere. Come on, Marshall. You won't believe what's been going on. What's I don't know going where you've been. Kathy, Dr. Alexander set up right in the middle of the street in front of my store. Got a uh, permit from the store? No, sir. What's your name? My name's Alexander, sir. Okay, are you a fast runner? Why, well, certainly I am, sir. Well, I'll tell you what. You've got five minutes to get up and get at me. You got it? But sir, I'm just a hundred uh, 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 over here. You drop those bottles by those ladies by their house on the way out of town, okay? Uh, yes, sir. And bullets run pretty fast. You better get going. Yes, sir. All right. I don't want to see your skinny butt back here again. <laughs> you got it, sir. All right. Hurts. Now, I don't want nobody shot. Well, we got to do what we got to do. Well, I know. Where you been all, da all day? With this kind of thing. Everywhere. Well, I tell you what. So what's the problem? What's this, the problem? This Yankee soldier came sauntering right up here, pretty as you please. Well, not very pretty because he's a Yankee. But anyway, he came right up here, said good day, said he's from Cerrito, and had some fellas with him, and walked over and took one of my apples. Now, those are five cents a piece. I cannot have people stealing my apples. And, and I've been watching, and you know, while my back was turned, I think the mayor stole one. The mayor? One. Yes, I do. I think the mayor. Uh, uh, I don't know where you've been, but you haven't been here, uh, and uh, I have needed uh, you. Excuse me, Miss Kathy. Oh, what now? Uh, well, what have we got here? <laughs> What's your name, boy? Uh, What's your name, boy? Hunter, sir. Hunter, sir, get over here. Wait. You, you're guilty of stealing. You want to press charges? Yes, I think I do. That's the only way he's going to learn a lesson. Well, how do you plead, boy? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Guilty. Well, at least you're honest. You're a first defender, right? Yep. You've never done anything like this before. Nope. Well, you ain't going to do anything like this again. Yes, sir. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You pleaded guilty, and I'm going to go ahead and pass sentence on you right now. Just like a court. You bet, ma'am. I'm the law around here. Well, I know that. I need a little bit more law around <laughs> here today. Take that. Now, you stay here and you clean up Miss Kathy's shop. Well, all, I could use some help. That's a good idea. Okay. And when he's done, if you think the work he's done, pastry apple, then I'll drop any further charges. But if he don't work, you're going to jail, boy. You don't want to go to jail, young man. That's a terrible place. You learn all kinds of awful things. Get to work. All right. All right, Miss Kathy, you have yourself a good day. Thank you. Don't go too far. The way this day's are going, who knows what will happen next. What's this boy selling here? <coughs> I, I'm going to take this in for evidence. Yeah. <laughs> you work, boy. Goodness gracious. Huh? Tell you what. Excuse me. Well, oh, Miss Jenny, don't you look fabulous? Wow! Thank you, Miss Kathy. Tell you what. I rode Miss Bluebell this morning, gave her some exercise. 
I can tell what a lovely riding outfit. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, I only get into town about once a month. I know. So, you know, I thought we would gossip and I'd get an apple for Mrs. Bluebell. That sounds great. Has that dubby been making a scene here lately? Oh, you would not believe she comes in here with pamphlets, something about oh. reformation. Hey! <gasps> oh, what do you all mean talking about me like that? <coughs> oh, my goodness, what have you got on? Why? Oh, I'll have you know I have on the latest fashion. That's a reformation dress. And before you know it, all you women's gonna be wearing pants. Now this is a war going on, and look at you all gussied up like that. Well, yes. Well, she looks beautiful. Why she don't need to look beautiful? Our men's out there are fighting. Well, that's true. Have you ever seen such a thing? No. I women mean, wearing pants? No. It's outrageous. It's scandalous. It. I just don't even know what to say. How dare you talk like that about me when I'm working for the cause? Well, I just don't know about that. I don't that. know either. What did you need, Miss Dovey? I wanted two carrots from a horse. Well, I plumb out of carrots. No well, carrots. I got potatoes, I got eggs, I got cornmeal and coffee, and I got apples. Well, I reckon I could take two apples. That'd be ten cents? Yes, that'd be ten cents. Let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. What kind of addition is that? I don't know. I'll tell Daddy. you what, that woman beats all. I know, I tell you. Well, you know, I better be going. It's I a know. long ride. It is. So I'll get my bluebell and apple. All right. Thank you, Miss Thank you, Thank you. 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 It I takes know. her a long time to get ready. She's always late. She is, isn't she? Well, I'll tell you what, while you're waiting, look at this bonnet Miss Sharon made and left with me. Now, is that not something? That's the ugliest thing I ever saw. <laughs> well, it's not ugly. It's, it's ugly. It's, it, it's for the cause. What do you think? But, my dear, you must consider it's stylish, it's colorful, it's multi purpose. It keeps your hair dry, keeps you from the wind, and it also can be used for carrying food or ammunition. I wear no dang bond. I don't wear bond. I don't like it. Are you sure? I'm it's sure. Cheap. And it would hide my face. Well, no. I don't want my face hidden, especially from the Yankees, because I want them to see my face when I tell them just what I think of. Them. Well, that's true. You sure you don't want one of these? No. Don't want no dang what bond. Do you know? I think you should purchase about two dozen of these. Well, thank you. Dear, you go along. I'm waiting on Miss Billy to go to the tea. Good day. Good day. Good day. You sure you don't want this bonnet? No, I don't want that bonnet. Where is it, Miss Billy? What about, what about the apron? It matches. Well, I've never really seen anything quite like that. Yeah. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? <laughs> Little girl showed me that this morning. Oh, what do you think of that? Oh, you well, like it? No, yeah. Billy, they trying to sell me an angle bonnet. Oh, oh, you know, I ain't gonna wear a bonnet. <laughs> Look at that! Same thing ever saw. Oh, you aren't really trying to sell that, are yeah, you? Yeah, she's trying yes, to sell that bonnet. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want a bonnet. Are you sure? What about the apron? Well, uh, we may consider the apron. Okay. Well, it's cheap. It's not very much. How much is it? Well, I sell it to you for, um, we've got the fabric we got in it and everything, 25 cents. Oh, I might get it. Huh? What do you think, Miss Billings? Well, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. I just can't. 
Yes, ma'am. I just can't see you in an apron. Oh, well, they're what? Well, they're what does the Santa Fe or colors? Yeah. Yes, you ladies are from Virginia. You need to be showing your colors. Honey, don't y'all worry about me. I wear my colors. Oh, you cousin! 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 Let me get my 25 cents out here. See if I've got 25 cents in these hard times. Ladies, I'm glad you're all here. Miss Amy just found out her husband was killed <gasps> yesterday. Oh. And, and she needs her morning outfit in 24 hours. Now, I made her this this jacket. Miss Cliff, I got a black bonnet. I'll bring it to her. I think I've got a black skirt. I've got a black skirt. I'm sure I do. Well, I've got it. it. I've got a okay. black blouse, but I'm wearing it right now. Well, we'll, we'll have to find one. We'll find one. We'll we'll find one. We'll okay. One of us really has a problem. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Yes. Let's Let's see your Japer. We got to go to the tea. No, we got to yes. go find clothes for Miss yes. Amy. I've got to find that black skirt. Oh, I'm sure I have one down in here. I got to sell that bonnet. Colonel Casey, Miss Birdie. Y'all doing well? Yes, ma'am. Great. Great. I, I just, Miss Gwendolyn was here and I just heard about John Daniels. Oh, yeah. He's, he was a very devout man. It's a sad, sad day. He, he was a good family man and above all, he was a hero. He was a good soldier. Uh, you know, uh, Miss Amy is uh, my cousin. Oh, no, I did not know that. Yeah. She mm -hmm. asked me if I could uh, bring her body, his body back. For burial here. So I sent two of my men with a buckboard to go up to uh, the mouth of coal where they're bivouacked up there. And I figure they'll be back by this Sabbath next and uh, want to give him a good funeral. Yes. And uh, right down here on Main Street, one befitting for a hero. That's a good idea. That's and a good idea. Let me know what I can do. We will. And that way the town can all come out, pay homage, and then we can bury him in the little corner of the cemetery where his dad and his grandfather are buried. That's wonderful. Well, the ladies that were just here were trying to get together clothing and and uh, and such. Oh, well, there's Reverend Ellison and Miss Ethel. I want to go ahead and get some uh, some items. I'm going to fix this. So oh, what a lovely I need, idea! I need some eggs. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, I got four, please. Goodness, to be more careful, break those eggs. I think I need a couple. Uh, I need some flour. You have flour. I do have flour. Hunter just got me some from the okay, bag. This is my little helper over here. Okay, I think that will be fine. Okay, you need taters? Uh, maybe a couple. Okay. This one okay, and this one? That is good. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Hi. 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 Get all your stuff. Yes, I'm Good. gonna fix dinner for Amy tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, we we've already seen the bad news, the sad news, and so awful. So sorry to hear about it and everything. So I'll fix something too and take over to oh, it. So. You know, I believe this is just the beginning of this terrible war that's coming on. We haven't seen all of it yet. That's correct. I believe so. Yeah. Prices are going up and the men are going down. Yes. I'm telling you. Well, let me know if I can help in any way. Sir? Let's see. We not sell a single hat pin or a fan. Well, I guess people need to eat more than they need the fancies. Hunter, come over here. I tell you what, young man, you've done a pretty good job. You really have. I'm gonna tell the sheriff that you don't. You, your sentence ought to be lifted. All right. Now, Hunter, stealing is wrong. You can't be doing that. Why did you steal, Hunter? Because I've been quite honest. Just like that, I was like, we haven't got much food, so I thought oh. I might as well steal. Well, it, it'll never, it'll never be a good thing to steal. You trust in the Lord, he'll take care of you and your ma. Look what happened today. You, you, you got in trouble, but the Lord took care of you. You worked hard. And I'll tell you what, Hunter. Um, you did such a good job. 
that if you want to, you could come back tomorrow and help me again and I'll pay you. Now it won't be a lot, but it'll be some money for you and your ma. Sure, I'd love to. Oh, that's sweet. Tell you what, why don't you grab one of those apples for your mom? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, let's go. We've worked hard all day long. Right.